What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck R Devil's Gate. Or basically the Dark World Structure Deck is the best way to put it, really. So, yeah, I forget what the English name is. We do know we're actually getting the Structure Deck. It's not going to be, like, pieced out or anything into another set. I was hoping, you know, they wouldn't, like, throw it into, like, Battles of Legend. That's what I was kind of worried about. But, no, we are actually getting the Structure Deck. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the name of it in English, but it won't be Devil's Gate, I don't believe. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is an actual, like, scary Structure Deck, too, because Dark World's... Those are one of those archetypes that I've always been like, oh boy, <laughs> you know, every time you duel against them, you're just like, oh no, you know, it is one of those I dread because they, they're scary. They always have that power and they're one of those two that just with a little bit of support, I knew they'd come back and here we are because yeah, uh, the new cards in this are really scary. Like the brand new Grapha, the, the new, uh, basically fusion for him is insane. He can just make it so he can change effects that you activate into you discard a card kind of thing. So it is really interesting. It looks like it's an even faster way of discarding cards and everything. And I'm already seeing like different loops and stuff that people are doing with it. And oh, oh boy, <laughs> it's going to be interesting for sure. But yeah, I got this from jockerad.com. Be sure to check it out. Link down in the description. I will have the text too for all the new cards that are out in the structure deck. We'll have that on the screen where we show each card. And not only that as well, Jokarad also had the brand new Dark Magician Girl deck box, and I believe there's sleeves in here too that go with it. So this is out there now too. You can get it, you know, anywhere you can buy stuff from Japan. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice quality. I mean, the box is kind of heavier. You have a card divider here, and then you have the sleeves. So there's quite a few sleeves too. I don't know how many. I don't know if it's said anywhere, but it feels like I, I would guess 100 because it feels like quite a few, but... Yeah, it's a nice deck box. If you guys want to get something like this, I'd love to see one of these for, of course, like, Red Eyes, uh, give me a Flame Wingman one, whatever, but <laughs> it's always the waifu that gets it. I wonder why. It, it is really nice, though, for real. But anyway, let's open this up and see what you get. And I'm going to assume, so far, we don't know what the changes are going to be. Sometimes there's a few changes, but what I mean on changes aren't the new cards. It will be reprints, if there's any big reprints, because I don't remember off the top of my head if there's any big reprints in the structure deck, so... That could be one thing that might change when we get the English version, because obviously we don't have the card list yet. So we'll see how that goes. That's everything out of there. I like how their boxes are a little bit more. Of course, too, they get this, what is it called? The Open Doors of the Abyss pack. These cards will just be added to the structure deck for us. They don't do it separate. It's just kind of a thing they do. Ooh, hey, there you go. I think one of them's randomly a secret rare, so we got basically the new boss monster secret rare. I'll take it. It is uh, Grapha Dragon Overlord of Dark World. So that's the new guy, and this thing is scary, and I don't think it's going to be that tough to bring out either. So, oh boy. <laughs> then we have Dark World uh, Ascension. That's a quick play. Then, of course, Grapha, you know, the original. Was this one again? I'm trying to remember all their names. This one is Snow. And then the gates as well. So the others were basically reprints except for this one. So like the first two were new cards. So there's your fusion in case I didn't have time to put the full text on there. And here's this card too. And yeah, I would just read off the text, but that would take forever in a video like this. I mean, because there's, I think, 10 new cards. So yeah, we don't want to take your whole day, basically. And of course we have our play mat with like the rules and stuff on one side too, so... Let's unfold that for you. Here's the playmat. It looks actually really cool. <laughs> it's like old Hot Topic edgy, you know, <laughs> with these monsters. I do like the designs, though, like for real. And then, of course, you have your, you know, different cards you can get to help out from other packs and showing you the strategies and the usual stuff. We'll get the same thing. So, yeah. I mean, their designs are really awesome, actually. They do look like they're from hell or something. There we go. I wanted to actually have the the play map for us. And let's get into the rest of the structure deck. I'll have to get through this little plastic. All right, here we go. Got through the plastic, and let's go ahead and start going through the new cards. The first brand new card that we have, new boss monster, is Rainbrick's uh, Supreme Overlord of Dark World. I think it can also be said as Rainbow, because that's what the name's supposed to be. And I still find that funny that uh, Dark Worlds are like named after colors, because, I don't know, something that looks as scary as them, and they're supposed to be like demons and being named of colors just really didn't go together, does it? They have cool names, but I'm always like, I feel like it should be a happier thing if it's named after colors, you know? But uh, this card looks really cool. I do like it. Then after that, we have Magenta Gateman of Dark World. So I guess that's like Magenta. So 
kind of cool there too. It's a super rare. Then our next super rare is Pearl uh, Hermit of Dark World. Another really cool looking card. And then let's see, we have uh, Dark World Puppet. New quick play. Super rare. And also Dark World Library. Another cool looking one too. I like that. I'm really digging the artworks more than anything. And uh, we also have Dark World Punishment, which I believe is the last new card. Yeah. Then after that, you're getting reprints, and they have them, like, in this promo. We won't get this parallel, like, promo look. But I wish we did. Like, seriously, they look actually really nice. We also get our Snick. <laughs> I, I miss him. Uh, Suchinoko. Let's see, Dark World Dealings is nice. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, yeah, the Dark World's getting reprinted, too. Like, I think it was this one that was, like, Primal Origin. I forget its name on top of my head, but... That one was always pricey, so that's a good reprint. Gold, Silva, I always remember them. Of course, those were some of my favorites, even though they're not really the best anymore. We also got Mothman, the Dark Statue, Fabled uh, Raven, pretty decent, I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, Token Collector, that's actually a pretty big reprint. It, it seems funny that that card has seen a lot of play lately. Dark World Lightning, Dragged Unto the Grave, Card Destruction. I'll say most of those are pretty much what they are. Deck Devastation Virus, that's actually kind of a pricey card, so I would say that's a good reprint. Dinomiscus, and then also even Skill Dream. So, yeah, I feel like with this deck, there's not like a, a big reprint. You know, we don't have like an Ash Blossom, and you're not seeing like, I don't know, like Prosperity, Extravagance, whatever, you know? You're not seeing too many big reprints. I feel like Deck Devastation Virus, probably what I would say is probably the biggest reprint out of that. And of course, getting a couple of the dangers like Suchinoko, I think is really good, and Token Collector, like I said, too. So this really in one of those structure decks, I feel like where it's like, okay, if you just need like these certain reprints, buy it. You know, even if you don't care about Dark Worlds, because this is actually made for Dark Worlds. It's, it's, it is something that I feel like you're going to buy if you want to build them kind of thing. And I kind of like that in some ways a little bit more. Like, yeah, I always like getting a good reprint, but this one looks pretty well-rounded. It looks like it's going to be a fun deck to use. And again, I'm kind of dreading it too, because Dark Worlds are just one of those decks I don't like to duel against. I just don't. And I feel like that says actually a lot for them. Like, that's actually, you know, meaning I respect them, because they are powerful, and whew, they... They can do a lot of damage and stuff, too. So I don't even like the old style. So seeing the newer stuff and all that, too, it looks like they're going to be very powerful and uh, <laughs> very not so fun to deal with. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Again, I think it's going to be fun. Not really made for me because, again, I'm not much of a Dark World player, but I'll still pick it up when it comes out to do a video for you guys, too, so you know what's in it and all that stuff as well. So, yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out jockrod.com. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.